Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, got Stacy with me. Shalom. And if you've been paying attention to our channel here lately, you've seen us talking about some of the dangers of the sun. Right. As we get in, into these end times, um, our Father is revealing more and more information about these times to us when we need it. And turns out one of the biggest dangers that we're facing in these end times is the sun. Mm -hmm. We see several verses in the scripture that's been telling us all along that the sun is dangerous. Right. Isaiah chapter 30 tells us that the sun is going to get seven times hotter. Wow. So in this class, you going to give us some information to help us with this? Yeah. In this class, we're going to talk about some of the herbs that we can start adding to our daily regimen to prepare us for the up and coming events that the sun will be bringing. Um, and we're going to focus on skin cancer and heart health. Yeah, it turns out um, these solar flares are. Um, have a connection to uh, heart arrhythmia or something like that, mm -hmm. making your heart skip a beat. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so as we go through this period of time, we really have to be careful on when we're out there in the sun. Yeah. You know that we have to have some of the sun, but uh, we have to learn how to function in it, I guess. Yeah. But before we get into this class, guys, I want to say thank you for all of your support here in the Pentecost season. Um, a lot of you guys are aware of the scripture that talks about paying tithes, have contributed and made donations to our channel. Right. Mm -hmm. These are extremely important to a channel like ours because we devote all of our time, especially me, devote all of my time to study in the word. Yeah. I don't have any other source of periodic income. Sometimes mm -hmm. I think I'm the only person in America that don't get any type of check. <laughs> or food stamps or wick or anything mm -hmm. you guys contributing and making donations is actually making that possible because i don't have to worry about things yeah yeah we know that we do have to have things i mean if we sit here and say that we don't um that wouldn't be correct. Yeah. So you guys do make it possible for a um, coach to spend a great deal of his time studying. And we appreciate that. Yeah, it's good not to have to ask those same people who so many years ago told us that this wasn't going to work, told us that God wasn't going to help us, that we had to help ourselves and do for ourselves, even though the scripture was saying something different. It's good not to have to go to those same people and beg them for sugar or or even to just uh, confess up and just say, you know, the father didn't go come through. We need your help. Yeah. So, guys, I just want to say thank you for all that you're doing. All right. So let's get into it. OK. Um, like I said, in this presentation, we want to talk about some of the common herbs um, that you probably have at your home or that you can acquire to start adding to your regimen. Even, you know, maybe possibly even starting a collection of herbs just to start preparing for yeah. it. Yeah, well, definitely need to start preparing, guys. The Father put this on our hearts several years ago that this will be a main part of Stacy's uh, ministry, and that's understanding these herbs. And early on, even in the first year, I think she discovered 50 herbs on the property. And the Father is showing us more and more every day. Yeah, herbs that help with, you know, different common ailments and stuff like that. And But my point is, is that you guys have these same herbs around you. Mm -hmm. um, you may have to go to the park or, you know, to the side of the road somewhere. But the thing is, we have to be able to identify them. Right. And know what they're good for, to know what's good for what. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if I should mention all of these things, but, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, um, these common elements that, you know, we're relying on man to help us with. Now, there's coming a time when we're going to have to go to the source that they're getting their medicine from for our own health to help us out ourselves. In other words, we're going to have to know what plants they're using to make that medicine. Yeah. And another good thing is, you know, when you do start your collection of herbs and as the sun get hotter and you are unable to go out you know, go outside and collect these herbs. You already have them on hand. You should mention that Stacy sells these herbs too on her shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, if you know what, go ahead and get some that's already picked out, 
uh, dried and prepared, you can go over to the bomb and the blend um, and get several herbs, even helping you to identify the ones that's around you already. So. Yeah, yeah, you can always, you know, send me an email and, you know, I can help as much as I can. Yeah. Very important stuff here. All right. So let's go with the first slide. And the first slide, um, we're going to deal with just talking about the herbs timeline and the reason that we say that it's important to go ahead and start preparing now. And that is because herbs can take up to weeks and months to build up in your system. They're not like um, the medicine that you get over the counter or from your doctor. Um, it does sometimes takes weeks and months to yeah. build up. Yeah. Think of it, you know, guys, you've all heard of the coca plant. You know, apparently, you know, back in the day when people got a headache, they would find this plant that they can chew the leaf and it would help with the pain. But over time, uh, man has learned to strip the active ingredients out of that plant and put it in a form that's fast acting. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've come used to. Yeah. Stuff that, you know, is so powerful that it works right now. But, you know, this stuff that we find in nature is going to have the same elements in it. But it's like you said, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to take an effect. Yeah. And sometimes, um, you know, those uh, by words that we read down at the bottom are that the commercials have about this herb will do so and so and yeah. be careful how it does this. Um, that's not the way that is intended to go. These herbs, the father put these herbs here so that they can be. Uh, restorative herbs that they can help us uh, to restore us back to good health, not to uh, just get rid of really quick microwave, I would say. Yeah, they're actually supposed to be a part of our daily diet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we established that, that there, there is a timeline for them, uh, we just want to say that um, because there is a timeline, we want you to start adding these because it's easier to... Make these herbs a part of your regimen and not have the illness than to get the illness and then try to find a cure for it. Yeah, if you're already sick, it's going to make it that much harder to get it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so you've got to, got to get used to this stuff now, guys. This is our medicine. This is how our father intended it for us to be healthiest through these herbs. And the thing is, we've gone over into the Babylonian culture, the Egyptian culture and got away from it. But the trek back home is, is just going to make the trek back home that much longer as we get back to doing things the way we are supposed to. And I think that's because we're so used to having a headache, taking an aspirin, and then um, an hour later it's over with. Well, it's the same way with you know food. Yeah. You get hungry, you make a phone call, and Domino's is there in, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> Could you imagine all they had to go through when they left Egypt all of those many years ago? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, so no more dominoes out in the wilderness. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at some of these herbs that um, we can start making a part of our regimen. And like Coach said, many of these herbs um, you can find on your homestead or, you know, you can start even growing now. We do have some of them available on our website, and I will be adding more this week yeah. um, just for your information. Um, so, like we said, we're going to concentrate on the two of the main health problems that Coach has talked about in his videos, and that's heart health and cancer. Um, you see that I've listed several herbs, uh, hawthorn berries is one of the herbs that's especially good for those with heart problems. And we want to add that those that have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, uh, diabetes should, you know, it's important that you start making these herbs part of your regimen now because you do have existing conditions. Yeah. Anybody who has these type of conditions who plan on living through these uh, catastrophic events coming up on the world needs to know about this stuff because, you know, who knows? This may be our only treatment for some of these. Yeah. So, um, Hawthorne berries, as we said, perilla, turmeric, that's a common herb that we have a part of our um, uh, culinary uh, spices, garlic, as usual, ginger, cayenne, red clover, soursop, green tea. And we've actually uh, have seen red clover um, help others. And a lot of these herbs, you can take the name and go over and search the web and find out what they actually look like. Yeah, what they look like, how to identify them, and get the information that you need. 
Okay. And like I say, say, send her an email and she could probably send you a list or something or go over to the bomb in the blend and take a look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some more of the herbs that we have available is blue violet flowers and leaves. These are, uh, this is one of our newest herbs that the father has shown us. You know, you see blue violet all over the place and um, you never know, but it's actually very, very good for your heart. Um, chickweed is another new one that the father has shown us as well as yellow dock. Um, I also want to mention that I do have seeds available. Um, if you need seeds, I mean, it's very cheap to just give you seeds, um, you know, the cost of a stamp. Mm -hmm. Um, I do have seeds available for those who would, you know, actually like to grow these herbs. Um, dandelion leaves and roots. This is a pest that people consider. I was going to say, um, you see that all over the place. Yeah. Huh? Is that mm -hmm. the one with the big thing, the big one they blow? The yellow. Yeah. It actually, you know, the one the that kids head, blow and make the, a wish yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it turns so it's good for uh, your heart and for cancer. Yeah, it's excellent for heart and cancer. Uh, ginger, angelica, valerium, skull clap, cleavers. You wouldn't have thought of that. And sorrel. You remember how we used to just didn't have any greens and we would just go pick sorrel. Turns yeah, out that it's good for cancer. Yeah, that's where the green eggs really come from, guys. We learn it the hard way. The eggs aren't really green. What they're doing is taking stuff like sorrel and mixing it in with their eggs. And mm -hmm. that's where they're getting green eggs and ham from. Mm -hmm. And these are all common herbs, um, herbs that you can just find by, like Coach said, walking to the park. Um, and if not, like I said, we have them available. We have some available and we'll be adding more. And if not, Amazon has plenty of them. We just want to make sure that you guys get them added to your regimen. Yeah, we're going to have to get back to this way of doing things. That's one of the things about um, this new um paradigm shift that we're going through is that mankind is going back to husbandry mm -hmm. all it is you know technology and uh convenience and stuff is going away people are going to learn how, how to uh fend for themselves yeah mm -hmm. so as i said we have some of these herbs available on the balm and the blend um and i will be adding more weekly but i also have to make this disclaimer it's very important that so that they will not take this video down um, that the statements that we just made is not intended to diagnose, cure, or treat you um, and that you should um, seek your physician's advice before taking any natural remedy. That disclaimer has to be made. <laughs> yeah, you know, like it, you know what I mean? My, okay, what, what, if, what if our Father in Heaven is my physician? I guess I talked to him about, you know, <laughs> whether he wants me to take his herbs or not. Right. I like, guess so. I'm a little bit ahead of my time, I guess. Mm. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is serious business. Um, like we said, um, there's many scriptures like over in Psalms chapter 21. Um, it tells us, you know, how the father plans to protect us from the son. Mm -hmm. James chapter one tells us again how dangerous it's going to be. Son is going to burn us up. Well, isn't I was reading earlier today that um, 27 states as of today is under a uh, heat advisory. Absolutely. That uh, is affecting millions with an S of people uh, throughout the United States. And we're just getting started. It, it hasn't really kicked off yet. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we still have a, a little bit more time before we get to the really, really bad parts of the tribulation. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of why we're trying to stay ahead of this now and get used to wearing sunscreen, get used to wearing hats and covering up as we go out the door and stuff. Even trying to do stuff at night. I, my plan is to try to um, do more stuff at night. I remember, and maybe this was, you know, pre-warning on your behalf and you didn't even know about it, how at one time you talked about how we should actually have lights around the homestead so that we can do work. At night. Oh, no, I knew about it. I read this Bible almost 30 years ago, and it makes it clear that the sun is dangerous. Mm -hmm. You remember the song when we just got here and we were, you know, trying to make room for ourselves amongst all this vegetation. Remember that song I used to sing every time we cut a tree down? How did it go? Uh... Something about making way for, oh, let the sun shine in. No, don't let the sun. <laughs> don't let the sun shine yeah, in. Yeah, every time we cut a tree down, I would, I would sing out, don't let the sun shine in. Mm -hmm. I knew something was going on back then, but turns out 
he was fulfilling Revelations chapter 7, verse 16, where he says he would protect us from the heat. Mm, okay. Yeah. So he, he's got a plan for us, guys. And we believe these herbs are a part of our plan. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm also wondering if this clock that we invented may be a part of his plan, too. Okay. How so? Well, I'm thinking, okay, we're going to get to the part where the elements, the sun and, and stuff is going to, you know, start being so dangerous that there's some people that's going to go underground. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, we won't have the celestials to go by so easily. You know, nobody wants to go out there every day and see what's going on. If they have one of our clock calendars, they would know when to look for the new moon. Right. And won't waste their time out there. Mm -hmm. You know, doing. I believe that's why he has allowed us to invent this clock now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like we're going to make any money off of it. Right. It mm -hmm. takes... Um, a few years to actually get a patent on it, you know, right. to start mass production of these things. And I can't really believe we got two or three years, you know, to go through the process of trying to get a patent. Mm -hmm. So we also sell this clock on your channel too. Yeah. It's uh, one of our featured items. Um, when you actually go on the website, it's the first thing that you actually see. Um, and we're getting a lot of good responses from, yeah. from the clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just to show you guys, it's not about money for us. We want to give away some clocks. Oh, I think that would be great. Yeah. I actually want to give away five clocks in this video. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll save it to the end because I wanted to make sure, you know, people who watched the whole video had the opportunity to, you know, hear their chance to win mm -hmm. or receive one of these clocks. Mm -hmm. um, and we do want to give it to the needy. We don't necessarily want to give it to the lucky. Right. So if you can afford to purchase a clock, they're only $29 over at the bomb in the blend, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, for the ones who can't afford to purchase the clock, even at that low of a price, mm -hmm. go ahead and send me an email to in the fight at yahoo.com, making sure that you include your YouTube username so I can make a connection. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I want to give it out to the needy, but I want to also make sure that people who support this channel and been with us, you know, have the first chance. Right. Right. You know, there's a lot of people who've been around this channel for several years and, you know, have been supporting us, you know, through hitting the like button and giving comments. You know, a lot of these people will give a comment even when it's unnecessary. They'll just come in and say thank you. And that does a lot for the, the channel and the videos. And so a lot of pe these people have been supporting this channel a long time. And so I want to look out for them first. So when you do send the email, make sure you include your YouTube username, you know, mm -hmm. and that way you can make a connection. And you can send it through the comment section, too. It's the only reason why I'm saying the email is because I'm going to need your address to ship it to you. And people yeah. don't like to put their addresses in the comment section yeah and i was glad i'm glad you mentioned that because i want them to know that you read every comment <laughs> yeah i read I, I still read the comments i'm um actually trying to get away from answering all of them mm -hmm. um what the old people say if you ain't got nothing good to say don't say so nothing, at all. nothing at all yeah. right. all of the answers are going to be revealed soon enough so there's no need to argue over anything at this point okay and again, guys, I want to say thank you for all you're doing to help our channel. Um, comments, like buttons, sharing our videos does a lot to help get the word out. And that's our main mission here um, is to help humanity, to let them know our father's plan for our survival. Right. There's a lot of people who want you to think that he has no plan for us, that he's abandoned us, that we're kind of on our own or maybe have to rely on the beast systems to help us through these end times when he actually has a plan for our health for our food, for our shelter, for everything that we need. We just got to know where to look to, to understand his plan. So that's what we're doing over here, guys, and we appreciate your help. Yeah, we appreciate everything that you guys are doing. The, Like you said, the likes, the comments, um, we see them all. Yeah. And with that, we're going to say shalom. Shalom.